Candace said she probably was drugged in the room, but when the staff saw her alone, she was vertebral and they took advantage. Salute, Candace. That's what I'm talking. Flocka. Yeah, because you seen on the video where she drunk something and she spit it out. It's a fact. Kiki say, nah, man, I just don't get why Kanika, though. Whoever did, whoever did it knew her out of all the people that was there, her friends, why Kanika. A pill go out where the alcohol is to pop the pill when have a guy in the case. Casey say, Hennessy makes me emotional. I don't be wanting to do nothing but sit and be emotional. Exactly, Casey. I understand that. These friends did not drug her. Thank you, sir, for saying that. Mimi, I love you. Um, and Toya say, K2 drug. Probably with K2. K2. I don't know what K. I heard of K2 before, but I don't think Shorty was on that type of, on that type of. T I don't think them people in the room gave her no K2 drug. I don't even think they do a K2 drug. You feel me? That's on the level of crack and coke and all that. Like, but everyone's different. Oh no, I hope not, Flocka. Who the fuck is? Okay, so how would security or the hotel have made sure that just Kanika got it? Because everybody else appeared mad regular. Security didn't give her the pills. She was drugged in her room. Yes. She got drugged in the room. Can you see it in the video? I'm going to check some more shit out when I get some time later on. Can the lawyer see if anyone at the hotel had a prescription for this drug or they claim? How the, how the lawyer um, want to see if anybody had a prescription? Like, you going to go back to the day and check everybody's pants pockets? Like, I don't get what you're saying right there. So not immature, the young man rolled up. I don't know what y'all talk about. The, the black brother rolled up at his high school they beat him and they hid it or whatever that's a sad story 11 floors a guy was live last night that's crazy they had 11 floors who knows nigga we probably was watching her on the ninth floor the whole time the whole time bro we never know bro i swear to god we never know that was the lower floor beneath the lobby. What happened with Emmett Till? She drugged in the room. Can you see her drink? I tell you what, I've been talking wild long. I'm about to call, I'm about to ask anybody if they want to join. If you want to join, just put yes. Like, no jokes. I ain't on no funny shit. I ain't trying to talk about nobody. Like, I'm going to hear your opinion. Y'all so y'all typing mad, mad spicy shit, and this shit makes sense. I want to hear your opinion. If you want me to join you in this conversation for a FaceTime convo so the world can see, let me know. Just put yes or just put join me or put call me or tag me or add me, and I'm going to add you to this FaceTime convo. That's the type of time we on right now. What's getting you the only motherfucker super here? Someone could have easily... What's the hard part to figure out? How is that acceptable? That wasn't her walking in the hallway. Momo, I believe that was her. No Henny makes me mean. The security guard knows something. The reactive video, they have drugs. The guy who was the Crown Plaza last night on live is in the group justice for Kanika. He has three or four up from last night. A few disappeared after the live ended. Yo, who was the guy that was on live last night? Call him. What's his name? Hold up, give me one second. I saw a guy, video uh, of virtual the hotel. He definitely was on the bottom floor. Where? Who's the guy in a white shirt and red hat? Did you talk about the, the black guy that was with her? I think that was one of her friends. Nah, I don't think that was one of her friends in the video. Zach, have to scream at you, laugh aloud. How is she capable of walking into a dark cooler, closing that door behind her, opening the freezer door in the dark cooler, walking in and closing that door behind her? I said that. I don't believe she was, you know, I don't believe that she did that. By any means necessary. I heard he was looking for her. What? That's crazy. He was looking for her? 
That's crazy. Have you seen... What if the guy finds himself in the kitchen and then another guy comes right behind him? What a bag that makes some shape of a body that's some bodily fluids one on the ground. That's crazy. Answer me. I was laying in a black and a pink shirt with a blonde hair, Cassandra in the 36 hour footage in the lobby. Oh shit. Was the lady in the black and pink shirt with the blonde hair, Cassandra, in the in the, in the thirty six hour footage? Yo, why do you think that out of all them people that was in that hotel room, she was the only one that was fucked up like that? If we believe that's her stumbling through them halls, she was the only one. And in, in the rest of the footage, everybody else that you see is supposed to be looking for her is extra regular. Why? How? Why is she the only one fucked up? How? How we? Tell me. I'm sorry. What's your name? Robin. Robin. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. How we don't know that 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 they gave us some additional like drugs in a hallway that we did on some tapes that wasn't released to us. You understand? Because from my recognition, my knowledge, when she was in the room on live, she was regular. Remember? Yeah, but listen, all that, if what the toxicology is saying is correct and all they found in her system was the Tobamax. And at that dosage, it was on a dad down. It has a 24 hour last period. So at that three uh, milligrams, that was coming out of her system. So if she went in that freezer at that three o'clock mark or whatever, like they're saying, and she was basically. We just froze to death in about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and she was dead all that time. Once you die, you know, your body doesn't work stuff out. So that would have had to start coming out of her system well before then. So there wouldn't have been time for anybody to give her that in the hallway. Right. But, you know, they, they also saying that before the, I don't know who the fuck said this, but they said before the party, she probably perhaps took one of her mother pills. You heard about that? That could be possible. I mean, because I don't, that could be very possible. Like they said that her mother said that she wasn't on that prescription, but they never said whether or not her mother said that she had that prescription. You know, like it's for epilepsy and migraines. And um, so I don't know. And they do give it to some cancer patients. So I don't know if her mother had it or not. And that's very possible. That's, that, that, I didn't even think about that, but that, that makes a lot of sense. But I don't know. I still, I still, I don't understand why. What reason would our friends have to kill her? I don't know if they had. You know, I don't really think that if anything happened to her and they were involved, I don't know if I necessarily think that the mission was the killer. You know, like I don't know if something went was going down and went left, and I don't know if they were involved or not. I just feel like. Everything about them is suspect. Like I said, if I knew, if me and my homies is out. You know, I was 19 before, and I was all in the streets, you feel me? And I popped pills and all that shit, so I, I know what I'm talking about. If me and my homies was out, and I knew for a fact that my homie was fucked up, how everybody's saying she was fucked up, I'm not leaving her. It don't take two, three motherfuckers to go get no keys and no phone. Facts. If, if I had to slow walk her back to the room with me to get the keys and the phone, that's what's going to happen. I'm not leaving her. And then if I did for some happen... A reason to lose her. And them videos, them girls is walking around that hotel in groups together, nonchalant as hell. If my homie's missing and I can't find her, I know she's fucked up. I'm spazzing the fuck out. The police would have been there. It wouldn't have been no Mama Teresa because they'd have caught the police on me. Mm. True. Just everything about her actions to me just seem super suspect. Like, I don't know what their involvement is. If they don't have no involvement, then just the way they move is all types of fucked up. But because listen, everything but, about their actions seem suspect to me. But, Robert, once again, why? Who the fuck in a right man will go somewhere where a million cameras are to murder somebody? Who? A fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it saying doesn't that. make any sense to me. That's why maybe I'm so intrigued by the case because nothing about the case makes sense to me. Except for the fact that I know how a motherfucker who's supposed to be real is supposed to move. That's supposed to be her friend since the third fucking grade. 
there ain't no that's something like about 13 years look Robbie, 12, 10, I, ain't no way in the world I'm leaving my friend okay I don't know what happened I don't think that her plot was to get her friend murdered or whatever the case may be. Maybe it was just trying to get her to turn up. If was if it was in the video is true and they said she wasn't enjoying herself and she was being, you know, bougie. You, if, if in the video in the background is true and that's uh Kanika saying I ain't drunk and I am enjoying myself and all that shit. That's true. Then maybe they did slat or something, you know, just to get her to turn up. Maybe that shit went left. I don't know what the actual involvement was, but I just don't feel like that Monifa one is all the way innocent in this. Like maybe it wasn't our intention for her to get lost and her to be, you know, killed and all that shit. Maybe she just wanted to get her friend and have fun. Tell me this. Why do everybody always I gotta ask I gotta ask you, why do everybody target um hold up, you said Monifa Irene. I said Monifa. Okay, but it's a lot of people target Irene and I'm like, why? Yo, she left early according to you know what I'm saying? Her statement she left the party early. Why do motherfuckers target her? And 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 and, and people say Monifa wrong because she left her friend in the hallway. I mean that is wrong. If my homie drunk, I'm gonna be like, bro, bring your ass in here. If, if I'm with a girl, yo, shorty, just wait for a second. Matter of fact, come come in here with me. You feel me? Like that's wrong. But I don't think that you could be. You could put everything on her. Yo, you 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 the blame. You left for like they're the same age. She's not looking like. Yo, I'm her mother. I'm her daughter. I know what she probably... Oh, girl, stay right here for the run. Get my shit and come back. You feel me? But we know motherfuckers die like that in a split second. She was wrong partially, but I can't put all the blame on her. You know? I mean, I guess. But like I said, even at 19, like, my loyalty was a little deeper than that. I'm not leaving my friend, period. I don't. Yeah, I don't have to be your mother. But, you know, and then at the end of the day... Girls move a little different. You know, you dudes might be like, oh, nigga, I'm going to be right back. Girls tend to move differently. You don't even got to be drunk as fucking. We going to the bathroom at two or three at a time. We just don't move like that. So that's, that shit's weird to me. That's that's true. It's, 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 it's weird to me, too. You know what I'm saying? And as far as that Irene is concerned, like, I don't know why my fuckers target her so much. Like, I don't feel like she was really Kanika's friend in the first place. So, you know, I don't think that she felt like she had any loyalty to her. And I don't know, you know, I, I, I mean, her just her attitude to me, I mean, is fucked up. Like, just like even on the video and her like in the um, police station, just some of the shit she's saying, how she just had like a real, oh, well, ass attitude about it. How it's, you know, when it was first presented. It to me is why I probably must probably attack her a lot. Where you? What did you get the idea that Irene isn't her friend? I mean, you know, like I see a lot of the videos or whatever from you know before or whatever, and Irene's in a lot of them or whatever. But it just seems like Kanika was a lot closer to like maybe uh, Monifa and Shamaya than she was to Irene. Yeah, that that could be true. You know, I got a lot of friends, and I got friends that. I mean, I don't mean like they wasn't cool or whatever, but it just seems like they wasn't like you know the whole bestie thing, like how Monifa and you know I Ar- mean Shamaya and Brebe and them all is. Like it just seems like Mo- Irene was like you know that's my girl, not like you know that's my. But we don't we don't know them. We're not in their shoes. We we wasn't we not really their friends. Yeah. I- I can't say, oh, they was best of friends. We really don't know that. I have no idea. I don't know nobody involved. This is all my perception of what it, it what, what what it looks like she presents to the world. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not necessarily what it could be. They could have been the best friends in the world. I have no fucking idea. But just from the way it seems and the way she's insensitive as fuck about the situation, like the whole it just seems like from the time went down, she just seemed like it was like, oh, that's fucked up, but that's what it is. Like, I don't know. I mean, I said, y'all in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could very well be desensitized. You know, it goes on a lot out there. I don't know, but if that was my fault, I would have just been a little more, like, when, like I said, in the, in the live video, I don't know if you've seen it, when uh, somebody laughed during the uh, police station, just her whole demeanor was like, I don't really got time for this shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Like, I, I ain't trying to be involved in this shit. If it was my friend, I wouldn't feel like that. I don't give a fuck what happened. I wouldn't even say that they had that type of... I met these kids personally. You understand what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say that they got that type of demeanor. I just feel like, how the fuck would you feel if you had been accused of your friends, or your best friend, or your 
you, your fucking acquaintance murder or homicide, you'll be scared. You'll be nervous. You will know who to trust, what to say, when to say. Because you're like, anything I say. Listen, if I was accused of, listen, if I was accused of my friend's homicide or murder, I'd be doing everything in my power to make sure that motherfucker knew that I didn't have no involvement in that bullshit. And, and my attitude wouldn't be like, I don't got time for this shit the fuck at all. It would be like, oh my God, I can't believe y'all think I would do this shit. I, that, that's my best fucking friend. I would never, I would, her attitude, listen. I understand you out there with them and you know, you might feel a certain type of way because you've been around Irene and I don't know what the fuck she told you in that video or whatever. So maybe you got this understanding, but from what she presented to the world, that broad don't give a fuck. All she worried about is not being involved in that shit. You know, you know, you know Robin, with all, Robin, no disrespect, how old are you? I'm 35. And that... That child that you're calling the bra is like 19 or 20. That's somebody's daughter. You know what I'm saying? So you know she's, a, that. she's a kid. She don't know listen, how to call we, I we her, what, listen, listen, have you heard me call Monifa abroad? Even though I feel like she's involved in this, I call Irene when she presents to the world. Her attitude is horrible. Again, I don't know what time you spent with her, but from what she presents to the world, what was seen with my own two eyes, what I heard with my own two ears, she don't care. All she's concerned about is not being involved in it. If that was supposed to be her friend, then that would not be my attitude, and I would sure the hell hope that it wouldn't be any of my friends' attitude. If it was me in that position, like I said, I got kids out here. I'm, I understand. My kid, she's 19. I got kids three years younger than her. Three, two of them, three years younger than her. So at the end of the day, listen to me. My sons ain't allowed to do shit, right? They can't do nothing for real. They real shelter because I ain't into that, right? So when this story broke, my son called me and said, "Mom." I appreciate and I get what you were saying. I'm like, what are you talking about? He started explaining this, talking about how you could think your friends are your friends. If that got my 16 year old son thinking about shit like that, it should have everybody thinking about like that because like I said, she just don't feel like, it just doesn't seem like she gives a fuck and that that's supposed to be her friend. That couldn't, shouldn't be her attitude. Listen, You've been 19 before. If you was in that very same situation, would that be your attitude? Would, let, would you be would your attitude Robin, be that nonchalant? Robin, I, I, I witnessed that. You're right. So since I met her, I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm biased. You understand what I'm saying? I literally, gee, I, I have my phone. I, and I, her phone is crazy. You understand? She would, I swear to God, she made a post like first, not even a fucking 40 seconds. Bitch, I hate you. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna do this. Who the fuck would post to make a comment or make a live video saying I love my friend when you know you're going to automatically get a million hate hate comments and letters? She get it in this group and she's not even in her. Y'all never seen her. Don't even know nothing about her. You just said you saw her emotions or what you think is her emotions. And you're like, fuck her. She's a bastard. Whatever you call her. Uh, uh, whatever. And I'm like, that's crazy. So Man, she's scared. Listen, Monique is still posting shit. Shamaya is still posting shit. Bree Bree still posting shit and getting talked about like fucking dogs and they still posting shit. Irene hasn't said or did a fucking thing because Irene don't care. You don't know how these kids And ridicule would be the last thing I'd be worried about if that if my if my friend was dead and I gave a fuck. Robin, everyone's is different. Everybody handles their emotions differently. Robin, we don't know what she's really going through. We don't live with her. We don't see her on Twitter and Snapchat her everyday life. We don't know, Robin. We're different. We are different. I mean, you're absolutely right, Kathy. Listen, listen, you right. So at this point, we're going to have to agree to disagree because what you're saying is the absolute truth. We don't know. So what you could be saying is true and she could be all <laughs> fucked up and whatever, whatever. And what I could be saying is true, and she cannot give a fuck. At the end of the day, we don't know. People grieve differently. I'm just telling you what I know. Facts. Facts. Big You're facts. absolutely correct. Facts. You're absolutely correct. You know, like, I think, like, you know, how they were trying to talk shit on uh, Monifa and them about turning up in the car and wait to the funeral. I 
totally agree with that. I've watched my friends and my kids' friends, and I've been 19 and lost friends, and we've turned up on the way. So I agree with that. I just don't agree with the way she's grieving. You know, we agree or disagree. But, period. But, you know, it is what no, it no, is. No, Robin, I respect you. I honor you as a, as a black woman, but I'm going to tell you this. I took psychology classes. I got two college degrees. I understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling because you're you're a mother, right or wrong? You're a mother, right? No, nah, I mean, I guess I'm a mother because I'm, I'm a mother. I'm a woman. It could have been me at one point in time. I've been 19. It could have been my nieces. It could have been anybody. I just feel like, you know, it's not even about being a mother. It's just about right is right and wrong is wrong. And, you know, I don't, I don't like you. Um, Listen, listen, like, uh, Robin, you gotta remember, they're from Chicago, Chirac. We see the worst of the worst on a regular, everyday basis. So how you may think, like, if you say, if, just say if you like, oh, such and such is that, and you'll be emotional, I'll be like, oh, that's what's up. Uh, not what's up, but that, I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Cry river, build a bridge, and get over it. And this year alone, in 2017, I've been, a, I've been to over 70 fucking funerals, literally. Go on my Instagram, you can see uh, 70 funerals. So when you talk about death in Chicago, that's... That shit is the norms. We're norm to that. That shit don't make, you know what I'm saying? So that's regular. Everybody handle their emotions differently. You know what I'm saying? If a person die, I'm like, okay, when a friend, I'm going to go to it. You know what I'm saying? RIP. That's it. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we have to our emotions differently. I can't fault you for how you feeling, how you saying. I feel that. I just feel, listen, I feel that. I just don't feel like she even had the RIP since. I just feel like she don't give a fuck. I understand being, I understand not being emotional about it. But there's a difference. Like, I think that her okay. mother doesn't show a lot of emotion about it. I don't think that her mother has an I don't give a fuck attitude. I think that Irene doesn't show right. any emotion about it and has an I don't give a fuck attitude. Mm. It's a difference. Nah, I hear you, Robin. You're making a lot of sense. No disrespect. Somebody just entered the tried to interrupt our FaceTime. So I'm calling him. Hold on, don't hang up. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Yo, this is Zach. What's up? What's up? Y'all in Harlem? What? Alright, four or five o'clock. That's perfect. I got a video shoot at two, but that's perfect. Just text me the address. Text us to my other phone and I'm gonna pull up. All right. Nah, 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 nah. I got, I, I got the beers outside. I'm good. My, my, my mm -hmm. I'm gonna meet y'all in Harlem. All right, I got you. So if you get me, I'm gonna call you. That should be like four o'clock. I got you, B. One love. All right, good looking, bro. It's all love, my nigga. All right. One. My bad, Robin. My that's business. Um, I understand everything you're saying, Robin. I love you sincerely. Um, but we just can't judge on Instagram, our Facebook videos, how emotion she don't give a fuck. I'm not being biased, so don't say like, yo, you care about the kids. Like, I care about you, Robin. I don't even know you. I care about all of us. I just, I just don't want these kids at fault for something they didn't do. You feel me? I mean, I don't think you being biased. I think that everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and we all feel different about this shit. Yeah, you know I mean, like everybody got their own their own situation, and I just, you know what I'm saying, I don't feel like you know. Again, like I'm not saying that motherfuckers is necessarily involved. I don't necessarily think that. I just don't think that Irene really give a fuck. That's all. It's cool. It's cool. I respect you. Let's agree to disagree. I'm finna get the next caller on here, Robin. I, what city you calling from? I'm in Atlanta. Shout out to ATL. I supposed to be down there this weekend, but I got held in New York. So shout out to ATL. I love you, okay? All right. Good luck, Zach. I'll holler at you later. All right. One love. Hey, yo, Sheena, who else want to get on here and talk y'all shit before I leave? I got to go get it ready for a video. What the fuck she say? Yo, talk. Answer. Um, Sheena. <laughs> Sheena, talk your shit. You know I fuck with you the long way. Too I, fast. Know. Stand up. I know. Sorry, guys. I got a little sore throat. I'm not feeling too good, but I'm going to do my best to talk. <clears throat> you sick? I'm a little bit sick. Yep, turn that TV down, Shamari. <laughs> Sheena, out of everybody I ever encountered in this group. Down. Hello? I'm sorry. I had to ask my son to turn the TV down. I want, I want every, and I'm going to hear you 
clearly. Sheena, out of everybody I ever talked to in this group, you are a fucking genius when it comes to this case. You should have went to school for law enforcement, criminal justice. I want to hear your thoughts. Please talk your shit. Okay. And um, um, first of all, with this with this case, a, a case like this, it, it's it's it takes a lot of um, observing and a lot of common sense and a lot of process of elimination. Like you, you actually have to have your mind has to already be trained to be doing these types. You have to have discernment. Honestly, you you have to have discernment and be a very good judge of character. And when I say judge, I'm not speaking of judging someone, but being able to tell what's important and what's not. The, right. the, okay, let's talk about the obvious, Zach. When I talked to you the other day, right. the obvious. Excuse me, and I'm trying to yell, but it hurts me to talk loud. But I'll do it anyhow. <clears throat> I love you. I love you. Um. The obvious is she was in the party with those kids. We have all done this at some point in our life. We've been to these so-called kickbacks. We've had uh, parties with our friends. We've went to these parties. Kids go live at these parties, Zach. That's what they do. They, they, go to, they go live at these parties. It is not a kid. It is not a person in this world in, with a half a piece of common sense that will go live while they are being involved with committing a crime. First of all, that's where people needed to stop and, and, and focus on and really, really, what I told you yes, the other day, Zach, is that people need to uh -huh. start asking themselves questions and answering the questions for themselves. Eliminate Kanika and Irene and Monifa and start inserting yourself why would I go into a freezer? Why would I go live when I'm, I'm about to kill someone? You understand what I'm saying? Some of these things you're going to come up with the answer on yourself and you're going to say, I'm not. I wouldn't. It wasn't an organ harvesting thing, like I told you. It was a crime of opportunity. If you follow Kanika's steps throughout that night, you pay attention to the footage. You put yourself in the mind of the suspect, which is the security guard, and whomever else helped him, which it may not have been no one to help him, but it was him, definitely. That was a crime of opportunity. That was a crime that wasn't necessarily premeditated because they wanted her organs or nothing like that. She happened to be in the area alone, lurking and wandering by herself. Someone saw her. Someone approached her. At some point, he approached her. And when you pay attention to his videos and people keep saying, oh, you can't tell what's fake and what's real on the videos. You're, that's right. But that's why you got to have discernment. I'm not giving weight to none of the videos that got shadows and figures and all of that stuff hanging. I'm not giving that my attention or my energy because it's going to make me make something there that isn't there. I'm just going to deal with the obvious, the facts. It's obvious he's looking for someone. It's obvious. Zach, if you could talk to several other people before me and you talked the other day, anybody that I've talked to about this, I've been yelling this before the footage dropped about or even released security. I've been yelling this. Where's that security guard? Where's that security guard? The young man that was at the hotel that night, he said it. And, and, and he was like, where is that creepy ass security guard? That kept coming, that kept coming, you know, um, knocking on the door, but was nowhere to be found. Exactly. And if you look at the footage where the kids are actually in the lobby, where they've been looking for her, that security guard is walking back and forth like he's got something so important to go on. Y'all have been to kickbacks. Y'all have been to hotels. Y'all have seen this. That security guard that's asked them to leave several times would not have been okay with them sitting in his lobby. He would not have... Who do you think asked Teresa to leave when she came? Who do you guys think did that? Security. Security. Why do you think they wanted Teresa to leave? Because Kanika was still alive. Kanika was oh. still alive in that freezer. Her mother, Kanika last seen on footage back at 3.30 something. Her mother got there at 5 a.m. She was not frozen to death from 3.30 a.m. to 5 a.m., Zach. No way. No 
way. That freezer was cut on to muffle her sounds. Put yourself in a criminal mind. Why would I cut that unused freezer on? Or why would I leave it on? Why would I, why would I put her in there? Because I want to muffle out some sounds. That's why I would do that. You understand what I'm saying? I want someone to not to be able to hear what's inside of here. That's why I'm going to cut it on. She's just so happened to be in an area where no one can find her. She's being looked for. She's alive and she's being looked for. She's trapped. She's trapped. Think about this in an area where she cannot get out. And the only way she would be able to get out is if she pressed the release button. Now, some people were expecting that autopsy to say overdose, and that would explain why she just sat in that freezer and didn't try to get out. So if she froze to death, and yeah, they're saying she had drugs in her system, but we've had we've done things that had way more drugs in our system than that. What okay. part of the drugs in her system made her incompetent to press the release button? Tell me that. What right. drugs that were in her system made her, because think about this, they're saying it contributed to her death. If the drugs were the biggest factor in her system, like people were making, it would have been the cause of her death. That's the thing. It would have been the cause of her death, the drugs, the hypothermia, because there was not enough drugs in her system to cause her to die. It was not enough in her system to cause her to just say, I'm going to just sit in this freezer and walk in and lock myself in here and not even care or think about finding or pressing this release button. It's over with. I just want to stay here. And I'm going to sit here for hours until I freeze to death. No. no. Yo, why do people say shit like she's in witness protection? It was a fake death. Why do you say that? Because people we, we people have a hard time accepting reality. People have, and it's a lot of things. Another thing, Zach, that's that word discernment again. A lot of people don't own the, the right to discernment. They don't have it. Discernment, they have a... Some people on this page don't have an opinion besides what they've heard someone else say, whether it made sense or not. You right. understand what I'm saying? That they're following yes. what's popular. They're following the majority. Oh, we're going to cut such and such out because we think it was Irene and Monifa. And she said it's not. It had to be. Look at her pictures. Look at her glasses. We are. That is such a vague mind right there. You are judging someone. You are judging someone for a look. And the thing about that is while the real suspect is sitting back, he provided us exactly from the beginning what he told us happened. The girl is clearly drunk, walking and staggering through the hallways. She walked in there and died. If that's not the footage he provided us, provided us then my name ain't Sheena. Because that's what he provided. You understand what I'm saying? That's all that that initial footage showed you. A young lady, drunk, staggering alone, walking in the hallway. She had to walk in that freezer. They made sure that that was the exact footage that was put out there. Damn. A body double, a stunt double. People are taking it too far again. And and that's the thing. Where did they put an ad in on Craigslist to get a stunt double? When? Fact. How? Fact. How much time? What African American queen was willing to participate in that and be a stunt double? Because y'all, people not being 